Okay, in this video we'll just go through one more example of continuity because in the past I have seen some authors make a bit of a mess of this particular case. So we have the simple hyperbola 1 over x and we are asking if it is continuous. Now notice in all our discussion on continuity I've never said anything about being able to draw the graph in one unbroken curve without taking your pen off the paper or anything like that because that's just wrong, okay? So let's bring back our definition of continuity. We said that a function f is continuous at a point if the function value agrees with the limit at that point. So the limit deals with what's happening close to the point, and because that needs to agree with the function value, it means you don't have crazy jumps happening or something to break your continuity. And then we said that f itself is a continuous function if it is continuous at every point in its domain according to that definition. So I'm going to go ahead and just say that this hyperbola is in fact continuous. And that actually comes with a challenge for anyone to object, because my claim is that f is continuous at every single point in its domain. And so if you're going to object, then it's on you to show me at which point f fails to be continuous. That's the logic of these definitions, right? And naturally, we have people pointing out that huge gap at x equals 0. But here's the crucial phrase in our definition. We are meant to just be checking if f is continuous at every point in its domain. Now, 0 is not in the domain of f because you can't divide by 0. So f of x isn't defined at x equals 0. And so it's impossible for that to be a cause of concern because our function doesn't even know about x equals 0. x equals 0 is irrelevant to this whole discussion. So in fact, if you look on the graph, you can see that actually at every single point where the function is defined, it's changing continuously. There are no sudden jumps or anything like that. In other words, f is continuous at every point in its domain. And so it is a continuous function. I just thought it'd be good for you to see this because continuity becomes actually a very desirable attribute of functions in that a lot of things are cleaner or made possible or results are only true because of continuity. So it's important to know that pretty much every basic function you have seen, including the hyperbola, is continuous. I guess this is the reason we try to be so exact in our definitions and our wording in maths, because we want to be able to make our definitions work and be consistent for all possibilities, including when things get much nastier than this. But that's all for this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.